dear students uh, from today onwards we will start with uh, the last part of the uh, microcontroller 8051 uh, that is unit number 4 the chapter name is interrupts programming in assembly and c so uh, from this uh, part you will get one full question uh, that is from unit number 4 so before going to start with the interrupts programming in assembly and c so let us uh, take some basics about the interrupt what actually the interrupt is so interrupt is nothing but uh, it is an input to the processor uh, whereby an external device or a peripheral peripheral is nothing but the input or output device okay uh, peripheral can inform the processor that is ready for communication so interrupt is an input it is an input to the processor okay whereby an external device or a peripheral can inform the processor that it is ready for communication okay so when the peripheral devices activate an interrupt signal right the processor jumps or branches to the program called interrupt service routine right so whenever the peripheral device activate an interrupt uh, signal in between the processor will jump to the interrupt service routine so this program is written by the user for performing tasks that the interrupt device wants to the processor to execute okay so after executing the interrupt service routine the processor returns to the main program processor returns to the main program so here i have written one diagram so that these statements will be uh, very clear so let us start with this particular diagram so that the concept of interrupt will be more clear so here i have written the main program right so main program starts with the bracing so here i have uh, some instructions i have written in between while execution of the main program if there is an interrupt which occurs okay if there is an interrupt which occurs so at that instant of time the micro the microcontroller will execute up to here right whatever it is doing it will complete that execution and if there is an interrupt occurs then it will take the location of this particular interrupt the location in sense it will take the address of this interrupt and it will flow or it will branch or it will jump to that particular routine that routine is called by the name called interrupt service routine okay in interrupt service routine the, uh, that is uh, the it will jump to that particular address in interrupt service routine again there will be an instructions with respect to that particular service routine right so after the execution of all the instructions with respect to the interrupt service routine so it it has to jump to the main program okay so after that uh, in order to jump to the main program uh, there is one more instruction called reti so reti is nothing but return uh, to the main program right return from the interrupt reti stands for return from the interrupt so after the execution of all the instructions of isr it has to jump to the main program again the instructions the remaining instructions uh, in the main program will be get executed so how actually it is to be done right so this is the concept of interrupt uh, interrupts and uh, how uh, the flowing of the uh, jumping or branching takes place right so now we'll see in detail how what actually makes the microcontroller to jump to the interrupt service routine what process actually done inside the programming for that we will see uh, the steps here so uh, the first one is when peripheral devices interrupt the processor branching takes place to the isr what i said whenever while execution of the main program if there is an interrupt the branching takes place to that particular interrupt service routine as i said in the last uh, page right before branching the actions taken by the processor are as follows 
So, what all the actions that taken by the processor are as what all the actions to be taken by the processor in order to jump to that particular ISR. The first and foremost thing that the microcontroller do is it finishes the instruction it is executing and saves the address of the next instruction that is PC onto the stack. So, here what happens is so here let us call this is instruction number 1 this is instruction number 2 this is instruction number 3. So, after the instruction number 3 there is an interrupt which is occurred. So, for that what, he, uh, what it will do is so up to the, the these three instructions will be get executed ok. So, now the interrupt is occurred the flow has to be given to ISR as I said. So, before going to branching before going to to jump to the ISR what it does means it will take the address of the next instruction after the interrupt and that will be saved that will be saved onto the stack right that will be saved onto the stack that is using push instruction which address the address of the next instruction after the interrupt that will be stored onto the stack that is what the first statement that it will do see <coughs> it finishes the instruction it is executing whatever the instruction that it is executing it will finishes that and saves the address of the next instruction onto the stack next it also saves PSW register value onto the stack so it will save the address of the next instruction that is PC as well as PSW register that is program status world register onto the stack. Next what it does means it jumps to a fixed location in the memory called interrupt vector table that holds the address of ISR. So, here, here what happens is now here the interrupt is occurred right here the interrupt is occurred. So, for every interrupt in a 8051 there will be its respective address right we have a, a certain uh, addresses for our interrupts I will discuss in the, uh, discuss those in a next uh, the further sessions. So, for example, um, uh, if I take the timer interrupt for a timer interrupt we have two timer interrupts. So, for example, if I take a timer 0 interrupt the address is 000 bh. So, it will take the address from the IVT it will take the address from I the IVT, IVT stands for interrupt vector table from that the timer interrupt address 000 bh will take. So, it will jump to that particular address ok. So, it will jump to that particular address the instructions with respect to that it will be executed that only I have written here see uh, it jumps to a fixed location in the memory called interrupt vector table in order to take the address of that interrupt that holds the address of ISR ok. Next what it does the microcontroller gets the address of the ISR from IVT that I said and jumps to it ok. It starts executing ISR until it reaches the last instruction of the subroutine which is called RETI return from interrupt what I said in the this page. So, when it will take the address from IVT interrupt vector table it jumps to the ISR ISR stands for interrupt service routine. Now, the instructions with respect to the ISR will be get executed until what until RETI when RETI gets encountered right. So, here what happens is whatever the microcontroller which is pushed that will be popped here that will be popped here and the address taken back the address of the next instruction which is uh, pushed that will be taken back and the remaining process will be continued that only I have written here. See the microcontroller gets the address of the ISR from IVT and jumps to it it starts executing ISR until it reaches the last instruction of the subroutine which is RETI return from the interrupt. So, upon execu executing the RETI instruction 
the microcontroller returns to the place where it was interrupted that only i said first it gets the pc address from the stack by popping the two bytes of the stack what i said just now stack into the pc then it starts to execute uh, from that address so these are these are all the steps uh, that we need to take care of while execution of the um, interrupt in brief i will tell once again see we have a two uh, programs here one is main program and one is isr so in a main program we have a certain instructions okay uh, in between suppose an interrupt occurs at that instant whatever the microcontroller executing that will uh, the completion of that will be done and it will fetch the address of interrupt from ivt interrupt vector table and the flow will be given to isr interrupt service routine the address of that interrupt and the instructions with respect to the interrupt service routine will be yet executed until reti so here before jumping the address of the next instruction that is pc content will be pushed here while executing reti that data which is pushed onto the stack that will be popped here in order to get the address of the next instruction after after the interrupt and those instructions will be get executed further so this is about the brief idea brief idea about how the uh, interrupt will be get executed okay by this will uh, complete the first video uh, in the next video we'll take up the next more uh, sessions thank you